How's it going, guys? This is Eric with Doreen Survival, and today I'm out just hiking on the trail, and I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, an item that is uh, underrated, basically, for survival. Uh, I don't hear a lot of people talk about it, but I think it's a very useful tool to have. And what that item is, is just a whistle. I have this whistle attached to my neck here. It's just a cheap plastic whistle but it does the job. It's a, a great signaling device, especially if you're, even if you're just doing a day hike and you're on the trail and you twist your ankle and you're unable to move, chances are there's people that are on that trail with you and just blowing the whistle will allow people to hear that you're in a distressed situation and people can come to your aid. And it's something that you can use that will work for long distances. So if you are basically hiking in an area that is maybe two, three miles off the road, blowing that whistle, and might, people might actually hear you from the road if you blow it often. And I just wanted to show you guys a couple different things that you can use uh, for a whistle that you can find in nature, basically. And the first thing that I have here is just a blade of grass. Simple blade of grass. And what you do is you place the blade of grass in between your thumbs, you hold your thumbs together and hold the piece of glass, uh, the piece of grass, nice and firm, and you basically just blow into it. Now it takes a couple times to get the right position, but the more you practice at it, the better you'll get. The goal is to keep it nice and firm. Now that definitely sounds like a distress signal. <laughs> it sounds like a dying animal. Distress signal that you should do is blow it in increments of three. Which is the national distress signal. It's basically the SOS. So it's a simple blade of grass that you can use as a whistle or a signaling device. Another item that you can use which is found uh, relatively easily in nature, is an acorn. Uh, basically what you do is, I have a, a stick here, I just sharpen the edge, I stab the top, and I basically clear it out the center. And once you have the center nice and clear, sometimes you can bang it out and get all the, the dust and debris out of there, and you basically just blow into the top of the, inside the acorn. And you gotta find a nice spot to blow into it. Once you find that spot, You can use it as a whistle also. So hopefully this is a helpful tip for you guys. And I recommend that everybody carry a whistle. It's much easier to just to have something uh, available right in your fingertips reach to use as a distress signal just in case you do injure yourself. So you fall down, break your ankle, or break your leg even. It's a great way to uh, to uh, call for help basically. And also it's good for kids too. If you go hiking with your kids or you're just going into the woods with your kids, have your kids wear a whistle around their neck. If they get lost, they'll blow that whistle and you can hear them for, I'm pretty sure for miles or even uh, a mile or even longer than a mile. So it's a great way to uh, help find your kids and help to uh, get help if you do injure yourself. So hopefully this is a helpful tip. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you on the next one, guys. Take care. Yeah, look at the beautiful stream. Oh, it's glorious.